Hey GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host Zila, and we are here today doing Alpha 12 series. Yeah, there's a golem right in front of us. We're in the Polaris area. I'm trying to level up to level 10, so uh, actually there's a bunch of golems around. They're, they're all over the place, even in daylight in the Polaris zone for some reason reason so we'll just make use of it i've already looted one and drop neo and arrestrium it's like woo magnesium too which is kind of nice okay so let's kill him let's just kill him <laughs> switch to our number two here get back into active mode so i'm I'm at 1.5 meters. I don't think we need to go any lower. So on hard mode, we're getting uh, just over 1,000 XP for him. 1,071 to be exact. And there we go. Another chunk of Neo and Cobalt. Oh, fair. oh man. Set. Woo. Oh. These guys, these guys are uber, uber loot. Like some of the best in the game. Uh, to be able to do this early on is really nice to get some of these rare ores. Oops. Forget it keeps... keep forgetting every time you jump back in your vehicle it always switches to the number one position so you got to keep that in mind uh, at least i've got to keep it in mind maybe not you guys but <laughs> ooh, titanium wow big chunk of neo this is this is what i'm talking about here oh that's not what i'm talking about that sucks hang on let's put it in our uh here we go let's just go like this uh, we got a fridge on this yet? No, we don't. And you know what? It's not going to matter because as soon as we hit level 10, we easily have the Neo now and Cobalt probably to do what we want. And that's bring in a better HV. Awesome. Awesome. Wow, 27 Neo so far off them. Just a, a few of them so far. They're they're so worth farming, it's crazy. Not not just for the XP, but I mean like you can see the, the loot you get off them is just outrageous. Outrageous. Like seriously, some of the best loot in the game. Hey, what's what's going on here? Is he where's he going? He was running off somewhere. Is he is he gonna attack those creatures? Did they you know, I heard that stuff attacks each other now, potentially. Which is kind of exciting. Oh, no, he's after me. Apparently, it's more likely to happen in the Talon area against predators, Talon predators. So... Against uh, predators, not Talon predators, but specifically the Talon versus predators. And, uh, yeah, apparently they killed them or something. We might have to go check that out. Oh, wow. Zascosium. Some more gold. That's really nice. We got enough. We can make our EVA. Okay. Wow. Ugh. Just incredible, incredible loot from those golems. Like, oh my god. Yummy, yummy. It's another reason why I really like the uh, the desert planet, too. Is there's, there's actually, I find resource gathering on the desert planet the easiest out of all the starter planets. Uh, it's the easiest to navigate by HB. Uh, the best sight lines, because a lot of desert... Um, yeah. It 
There we go, level 10. That's that's what we were aiming for. Oh, and more more gold. Isn't that convenient? That's enough to make a stack, which is what we need to actually there we go, five. We can make one gold bar, and I think that's all we need to make the EVA boost. So we're off to the races. Uh, we, we don't have a an actual SV yet, but, you know, hey, one step at a time. At least we can get up into uh, the space without freezing if we get the EVA built. Um, you know, I, I think we're actually done. At this point well let's just head back i'm gonna head back i'm gonna smelt this stuff um uh, and we'll see where i'm at with all my ores and whatnot if i have enough i'll just i'll just get the factory going because we're gonna get this puppy in here where are you get my 6k drill in So, what's it need? 50 cobalt. Ooh. We'll have to see what we have back at base, but I just picked up 20 ingots, really, because it was 10, 10 ore, right? So, uh, we might we might be there. We might have a bunch of neo, or cobalt, I should say. I know we've definitely got the neo and the titanium rods. It's the cobalt which is going to be potentially the problem here. Okay. Okay, so I don't think it's going to be a problem because I'm going to head back home. I'm going to get the weapons. We're going to bring them back here. <laughs> I should have had them all on me. I don't know why I didn't have them on me. It's just whatever. I guess I figured I was going to need the space, which I might have. But I'm going to go get all those weapons now, and we're going to cash them in and see if we can get some better resources that should give us what we need to get it in. So let's do that. I will meet you back here with all the loot. Okay. Well, as you can see, we are here at the one of the vendor sites. This isn't the trading station. This is the sanctuary. They have a bunch of vendors in here. You can see the, the grass is floating. So that's always fun with the fo floating grass bug that's been in the game, you know, since at least Alpha 5. <laughs> oh, yes. And it looks like we have a trapped vendor that we can't, can't get to. Well, goddamn. Um, that, well, hey, what about, can I, like, free him? Let's try freeing him. Oh, there we go. Ah! <laughs> we did it. Nice. There we go. We can talk to that guy. So let's see. I think this is the guy we wanted. Yeah. So he's got a bunch of drills, the medium armor, boosts, even EVAs. Uh, he doesn't have multi-boost, but he's got our Neo, Titanium, and the Cobalt that we're looking for. Yes, this is the ore we've been looking for. Gold? Oh my goodness. Okay, so he'll buy our drills. We'll offer that up to him. Okay, let's grab our drills. Oops. <clears throat> and how many will he buy? Ten. Well, we only made five. <laughs> okay, at twenty nine hundred apiece. I like that. So hell, I'll I'll sell my drill too. Why not? Why not? We can make this back, right? Almost three grand apiece. Yeah. Let's just sell them all. Seventeen and a half grand right from our drills. Not bad. Uh, that's probably enough to buy all the stuff from them here. So let's do that. 
And we wanted the Neo. Uh, titanium rods. See, they're not that expensive. 26, they're not that bad. I'll just buy them. Ooh, magnesium powder I do want. I do want, but I can't use right now. Gold. We should always be buying gold when we can, but we only got 11 grand right now. I want to hold off. We can buy the EVA, but I think it would be cheaper to buy one gold and make it, right? Yeah, way cheaper. Okay, so let's buy buy some. We'll buy some. That way we can make the EVA. And I, I just don't want to go broke buying gold. Uh, this guy, oh, oh he's got the multis. 95.75. Crap. Okay. I wish you could F out of the menu. Is this guy sitting down? Oh, he's a trader. Wow, is he short. <laughs> what the heck? Okay. Uh, okay. Ooh, T2 multi-tool. Yeah, we're buying one of those. We're buying that. Yeah, we are. Uh, we've got, you know what, we'll buy a few more charges. Oh, his multis are way cheaper. Ah, oh, crap. Uh, what will he buy? What will he buy? That's it, eh? Uh, well, I, I guess I can come back. 72.10. That's a pretty good price for the multi boost. It's about the lowest of some of the lowest I've seen it. Okay, so this guy will buy pretty much all the other stuff too, so good to know. Now, we don't have a vendor for our regular tools and stuff yet though right so that'll be at the trading station so let's head there i'm going to head to the trading station and i will meet you guys there because that is way down here right there <laughs> Okay, we're at the trading station, so let's, uh, I'll just leave it running, doesn't matter. Won't consume, well, it is actually not a very efficient machine anymore, it's way over CPU'd, but whatever. I've got the fuel now. Okay, um, so first of all, I guess what we need to do, let's grab, and we can put this stuff away, I didn't need that. Let's grab that T2. Oh, let's switch this real quick. We can flip that out. Okay. Nice. Let's, um, I guess what we're going to try and do is just sell it all, right? Sell that too. Let's just dump this in there for a minute. Let me sell that too. There we go. Okay. Or at least attempt to. Now, can we get like free oxygen in here? Uh, clone chamber, medic. Oh, it'll actually let you heal. Yay! I guess I could probably clone here, too. Will this not let me in? Other faction. Really? Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Why does this one... 
Why is this one a other faction? I don't get it. <laughs> I don't understand. Okay. Uh, what do you got, buddy? Yeah, you're going to take some pistols. So let's just sell everything. You're going to take two shotguns? Uh, whatever. Oh, he took mine. Whatever, I can make more bullets. Assault rifles, four of those. I'll sell them all that I can. You're going to buy all of my snipers. Nice. And then one multi-tool. Really? Damn. Okay. You know, I'm happy with that. That's not bad. That's not bad. So, he doesn't have anything that we want to buy. Now just... Yeah, not, not right now. Eventually, we'll be looking at buying the optronics. But, uh, not right now. We're not going to bother. We're going to make our own rations. The detox kit. It's not that bad of a price. Yeah, we'll buy it. I mean, we'll go to the uh, first aid vendor anyway. So the guy with the food, did we uh, did we check this yet? No. Nice. We're going to grab that. We'll just eat that. You know what? I'm going to drink that. Will it will it screw us up if I drink it? Potentially. I'm not going to get sick, am I? No. That would be annoying. <laughs> Miles away from home or any way of... Well, I might have a way of curing that. Indigestion right there. I just bought them. Uh, okay. What do we want? We wanted pizza, but it appears that somebody else got to you first. Damn. That sucks. Okay. Well, let's grab... 205. 188. Got, uh... Here's time 95... First time 98. Let's go with the meat burger. Yeah. And we'll just buy all of them. Yep. Okay. What about this guy over here? Doesn't look like he has anything. What about. Do we have. I thought I had a card. Yeah. Put that in here. Oops. Can I switch to that? Yep. Yeah. Okay. And you are not a vendor. Uh, teleport. Okay, so the the double dude here. Uh, six six thousand for his multis. Okay. Nice, and he's got a crap ton of them. And then you, what about you? Eight, yeah, so you're a ripoff. Uh, okay, well, I like that price. I think I'll buy a couple off you, buddy. That'll help us reduce our food consumption, too. I should probably buy three. I might, I might loot one, though, and then, you know... You know what? Selling it back is actually not that bad. So let's just buy three. Okay, we've got we've got cash now. We can we can play around a bit. We can have some fun. I should actually go buy a better weapon. I don't think this guy had anything decent. No, he just he just bought my crap. Okay. This guy down here is a medic, right? Yeah. Let's buy all those up. Let's get all the trauma kits. Detox kits. And decontamination kits. And he does not sell the radiation immunity shot. Darn. That's a toughie. I have to make those, I guess. Okay, so 
Oh, I didn't check the... That was derpy. Oh, yeah, other faction. <laughs> um... Who's this guy, right? Who's this guy? Magnesium powder. I mean, I probably should. Oh, yeah, the minigun rounds. That's what I wanted to sell. So that's $9.79. What else? What else? Is that it? No? Okay. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. He's got nothing. Okay. Well, let's get heading. We're going to get back to base and where did I put my vehicle in? That one. Yep. Um, I'll head back to base and start cooking up everything we need to get that HV in, and then we can uh, spawn that in. So I'll meet you back there. Okay, we're back at base. Um, Put all stuff in the cargo box. So we definitely have what we need to to get our vehicle in. But in order to do that, I want to make it a little faster. So I want to use the constructor to make parts to throw into the factory. It'll speed up the factory. Um, but what I've noticed is I can make the advanced constructor. I spent some points. I need to make an armor locker. And I can, that means I can upgrade this constructor to advanced one. But as soon as I do all this stuff, the CPU is going to just tank. So we need to make a CPU extender first. So let's do that. Now we definitely have the resources to do this. It's not a big deal. Um, yeah, the 50 cobalt. I mean, we've got 100. There's there's 50 right there. So we've got, you know, over 100 cobalt in ingots available to us. So we've got double what we need. And that's what's that's what's eating up. I think it's four four of my needs. Yeah. That's why the Neo Cobalt and Titanium. But it's not much cobalt. You can see two. We only need eight cobalt to uh, to make this thing. So it's not it's not really eating up much of our cobalt reserves. Okay. And then once this is cooked up. We'll put that in place, and that'll make everything more efficient, because right now it's just not. Um, what do we got here? We've got an attack in less than five days. That's fine. Our CPU, oh, tragic. We're below the 10% deficiency. I don't like getting below 90%, because it really starts tanking your fuel, and other, like, it just... It gets it gets a little crappy so we'll get this in place and then this will really free up a whole bunch of overhead then we can actually armor put make all that the concrete we can upgrade it all to uh, armored concrete uh, we'll be able to not worry about CPUs for a while I'll be able to upgrade the constructor to a large constructor and and we're also geez this is super slow isn't it holy crap and that's another reason why we want to want to upgrade the constructor because it'll make it that much faster uh okay i can just imagine what this would be like on slow setting i actually have the construction set up as fast 
So, yeah, this would be brutal on slow. <laughs> Whew. Come on. Wow. Does that actually tell you how long it takes to make? Craft time, yep. So two full minutes. Wow. Wow, that's a long... That's just to do the final spin of the dial. That doesn't include all the components, I bet. Okay. Come on. You can do it. It says you're full. Come on. Okay. What are we at here? Yeah, so we're... We need to put cargo controllers down with extensions we need all i'll be picking this up and moving it later but for now we're just gonna stick it here fine there we go now we have 100 percent efficiency again and we can start we can start upgrading the base uh without it tanking us really bad so now we have quite an overhead we have another 115,000 cpu that we can go before we start um, making it deficient again. So, now that we got that going, I think we should upgrade the... Let's see. Let's see what we need to upgrade. Switch to this and I'll just set it to upgrade. We need five steel plates, two computers, five energy matrix, 50 cobalt alloy. Oh. Wow. Wow. Um, and 10 flux coil. Crap. That's another 20 cobalt. Wow, that's a lot of. Three cobalt per, so that's 150 cobalt alone, plus another 160 cobalt we need. Well, we don't have it. We just don't have it, so we can't upgrade it anyway. Okay, that's fine. Let's. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to queue up a whole bunch of expensive parts. Uh, what I mean by is expensive is things that have lots of lots of everything in it. Like these large constructors, that looks very good. Computers, mech, steel plates, optical motors. It's got to be more. We've got to get some better, more expensive stuff. Motor electronics. That's what we're. Steel plates. Oh, this is that's a good one too. Optical fiber. What about? Generators, steel plate, mechanic, motor, electronics, 10, computer, 3. Wow. Okay, that's really expensive. Let's make a bunch of those. So, what do they weigh? One point, okay, that's not a big deal, but one, 105 SU. Oh, no problem. We can make a bunch of those. So, let's, oh, I don't know about 10. Yeah, let's, let's do 5. Okay, so that's going to take a while to spin up. Let's go take a look at our garden. How it's doing? Ooh, it looks like everything's pickable. Yay! See what I'm saying? Like it, it just doesn't matter. I'm not here long enough, and and waiting on it for to, for it to freaking grow by the time, um, you know. So the really long plants that take a long time to grow is not a big deal because I'm only in here like once a day so let's connect to our fridge and then we'll pick this pick a garden yay our first actual crop yields of our garden feels good feels good we got to go to the talent and buy some uh, oh can I not is that not ready oh well, it's not ready okay and come on. I'm having a tough time targeting that one. There we go. Okay, let's go check the other side, the vegetables. They're probably not ready. Well, actually, the... Uh, oh, they're getting closer. Growing. And 
growing. Okay. So this side isn't ready yet, but we've got flowers coming out and we've got little tiny tomatoes showing up. So we'll we'll be able to pick those pretty soon. It's looking like they're they're getting real close. Okay. Good. Now Let's see, how many days was it before we get attacked? Oh, see, it just jumped down two days. It just jumped down two days. Like, what the heck? God, so I, I can't risk disassembling this thing. Because I do, and then we look at the thing again, and it says attack now. Um, yeah, it's just, you know, it says less than five days, and it's still the same day. And I look at it again, and it's less than three days. It's like, oh my god. But then it'll probably set at less than one day for like a week. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Okay, that's taking a while. That's just taking too long. I think I'm going to have to... Um... No, not fridge. Not that one either. There. Oh, we've got a couple made. Let's take a look. Here, let's connect to there. Um, we'll see what we get in the way of mats for that. We've got nothing in there. So, and it's reducing our time. That's really what I'm looking for. It's not how much mats are going in. It's how much time it's getting reduced by. Uh, so we need to make... Something with cobalt. Something with cobalt. What is expensive to make with cobalt? Hmm. Oh. Energy matrix. Yeah, there we go. Let's make like a bunch of those. Right? Make five of those. Okay, so I will come get you guys when it's ready to spawn in, and we'll call it an episode. And then next episode, we'll take it out and uh, explore with it, basically. Um, yeah, so I'll be back in a bit. Okay, it just finished cooking, so let's get this spawned in. Um, just be able to spawn it in here, no problem. Lots of space. Um, actually, yeah, let's move it over here, just so it's not going to open the. Why does it keep spinning around funky ways? See it now? It's facing a different direction. Can I get it to straighten out somehow so that it's not? A little there, okay. Ah, good enough, right there. So there we go. We got. Oops, it's clipping into the other hover vessel. Let's just move this. Whoa, a little too fast. Okay, so this is the beast. Um, yeah, I know it's got turrets on it that are retractable. It's got five drills. It's got a uh, 6K ore and wood cargo container. It's got a constructor on it. Uh, it's got a couple of fridges, although I think I'll swap one out and put a detector, although the detector won't fill that in properly. You know what? I'll just build a detector and put it on. Or I might just steal that one and put it on. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll take this thing's detector and its landing pads. Because I, I forgot to actually put a landing pad or a docking pad on this thing. So I'll have to raise it up. So it's got regular thrusters and regular hover engines on it. It's, it, um, as you can see, uh, where is its side thrust? I can't see where the side thrust is. I guess I buried it. 
Did I actually bury the thrusters? I might have. Hmm. Okay. Well, whatever. Uh, don't know if I'm going to keep these on. I might actually rip them out and put cargo extenders in. That uh, each one is like, what, 9, nine times 1.125. I mean, we're talking 1,000. We're talking 1K extra storage per. So that's an extra 2K of storage that would bump me up to 8K on this thing. I might do that because I, I just don't see these being very useful. Um, I'm not going to be putting this thing in a mass combat. Okay, guys. Well, next episode, we will get this thing all equipped and ready to go. And we will take it out and... We'll probably start getting some of these quests done now. <laughs> now that we have a decent vehicle that can hold its weight. So this thing this thing can lift all 6K, no problem, of whatever's in it. Uh, even if it's like super ultra heavy, taking up the 6K worth of SU, it, it'll still be able to lift off the ground and move at close to max speed. Uh, because it's got the T2 medium thrusters on it. And it's got T2 medium thrusters at the front too. So it's good, very responsive at uh, digging holes. You can pretty much aim it straight down and like go backwards straight back out of the hole if you want. It's it's really great. I'll show you that next, next episode. We'll go dig up something and we'll get the uh, some of these quests done. So until then, you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.